In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about how uh, your brain sort of tricks you. Uh, and uh, Basically, there are some common ways that your brain tries to sort of trick you into uh, inaction and uh, complacency and uh, sort of laziness and uh, overthinking, which I uh, talk about in an, another video, so you should check that out too. Um, but basically, what what these are are these are sort of thought patterns that um, that your brain has come up with, and uh, which kind of trick you towards um, this sort of um, uh, basically basically this sort of a passive mindset, and um, it stops you from sort of moving forward and unlocking your uh, your uh, actual potential. Uh, whether it's a, like it doesn't matter what you're doing, even if it's like in your sort of your personal like uh, hobby or something, even even if it's that, even if it's not like at work or at, you know in in some sport or something like that. Um, so uh, basically, I want to talk about how you should uh, or how you can uh, sort of lean into your own ideas and uh, sort of. Uh, uh, gain this power of, uh, of sort of thought acceleration and uh, uh, so first let's let's uh, talk about some of those sort of brain blocks that you will face when you're trying to do this you will sort of hear these sort of things in your head well not maybe literally but these, these sort of thought patterns emerge in your uh, mind whenever you're uh, sort of planning to start some uh, start some new new sort of uh, start to implement some new idea so here's just some of them like oh just five more minutes <laughs> so that's that's a typical one and then there's you know um i'll do it tomorrow <laughs> then there's um oh it's it's just a big task i mean <laughs> i couldn't possibly start it right now um then there's the classic uh I'm sure I'll get around to it soon. <laughs> and uh, you know, there's an endless of these. But oh, but what if thing X happens, or what if thing Y happens, or what if thing Z happens? If I start this this project, or if I start this, you know, start to work on this idea. So this is some typical um, sort of negative feedback uh, feedback loops that your brain immediately starts to um, inject into your thinking whenever you uh, you are exposed to a new idea and you start you know seriously considering it so so um, there's a really easy way to avoid all of this which I thought possible but but first I'd like to sort of talk about why it's important to sort of just start hammering away on um, on, on your ideas once you get a good idea so I, I can actually talk about my own experience right now doing this video <laughs> so i actually uh i was like sort of a, i had three di different ideas for a video and uh and i was wondering which one of those i should do and then this idea came to my head it wasn't one of those three ideas but um i just um I just decided to start doing it immediately. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't waste any time, you know, sort of validating the idea more than at the very beginning when I sort of, um, when I got the idea, that's when I thought, oh yeah, this is a, this is a good idea that I should talk about on a video. And, um, and I sort of uh, only used this sort of small pre preliminary analysis of the idea before I started making this video. And, um, and the reason I did that instead of like oh uh, mapping it out on uh, like uh, uh, on like uh, uh, three different uh, word documents or something like that, the reason I did it is because I started just doing it is because it was a, a minor little project like doing a video. It's a minor project, so there's no reason to to sort of fall into that sort of thinking. Of oh well I'll just do it in I'll just do it tomorrow or something like that. There's no reason whatsoever to follow that sort of thinking when talking about an idea that I can 
easily do right away. <laughs> so, so, um, so the way to lean into your ideas is to immediately start implementing it if it's a reasonable idea. And if it's even if it's some like a huge project, let's say it's, um, let's say you start uh, thinking about starting a new business, you should still immediately lean into it. Now, I don't mean that you should immediately start the business. I mean that you should immediately start making a business, start, start making a business plan, just like, just like the uh, sort of large, large picture, in the large picture sense. Just start making, you know, a draft for a business plan, rather than worrying about the idea or oh well maybe maybe I'll think about it more and doing it tomorrow. No 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 no. Start doing it right away. If you can like. <laughs> You don't have to do the whole thing. You can just start thinking about it. And that your brain then goes into another mode. So it breaks away from that mode of, oh, just five more minutes, oh, tomorrow, um, oh, it's just a big task, I couldn't possibly do it, blah, blah, blah. It, it breaks away immediately out of those patterns and it starts thinking about the problem or the idea that you had. And, and well, and the, maybe the problems associated with it, like, you know, if you have an idea about the, about the new company, then then the business plan is obviously what you should be working on, and uh, so that's the sort of problem that your brain starts has to solve, rather than wasting time, wasting energy, and sort of um, sort of tending towards this sort of passivity and complacency. Now, the reason your brain actually has that sort of um, that sort of uh, um, that sort of uh, mental pattern is is because if you are reasonably healthy, if you are, let's say, you don't have like mm, massive problems with your finances or your family or anything like that, then your brain actually wants to sort of maintain the sta status quo. It doesn't want to break out of the status quo which new ideas ha can have that effect. New ideas can have the effect of, you know, shifting things around. And if you have even a reasonably comf comfortable ex existence, like you have enough food, you have a place to live, you know, you have decent family relations, and uh, and you're not sort of uh, in, in distress, then your brain has this default pattern of sort of trying to keep everything as it is. And that's an unconscious thing. You're not actually consciously thinking, oh, I know I don't want to change anything in my life. It's your brain sort of tricking you into, into that. So that's why it's really important. It's, it's a biological, it's biological. It's a simply a biological function of your brain. It's just, if, if things are relatively comfortable you, for you, it doesn't want any change. <laughs> so, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't into your ideas. If you have good ideas, you should definitely be trying to implement those. So, even just doing those small things that, of course, even if you do like a draft of a business plan, that doesn't mean that you're like starting your company tomorrow, but now you're at least working on it, so it's a possibility. Whereas if you're just worrying about it, oh, well, well it's such a huge task, I, could, I, I don't want to do it now. So, <laughs> then you don't even have that sort of possibility to start it in the future. Instead, you haven't even you haven't even started on a business plan, so how could you possibly even, like, at any point in the future, can you, like, you can really pick it up and then then set up your company if you don't have a, even a business plan or even a draft of that one, and if you haven't really planned anything out yet in in, uh, in regards to this idea for a new company. So, so this is basically, when once you just have a good idea, even if it's, Actually, you, you don't necessarily know if it's a good idea right away, but if you have some idea that sounds at least reasonable, you should just sort of lean into it right away and sort of accelerate your thoughts in regards to that idea. Start, start creating something, um, something that has like a relevance to that idea. So that basically take the first step into that idea. Take the first step into that idea and that first step also works as a test of that idea. So this video, me starting to record this video, is also sort of a test of this idea that I had for a, for a video. Because I didn't know that this would, that I would necessarily talk very long about this. 
I didn't necessarily know that I would talk, talk even long enough that I could actually, you know, re make a reasonable video about this and, you know, put it up on YouTube or anything like that. I didn't know that, you know, beforehand, because this was a new idea that I had. And, well, it's not really a new idea, but it's a new idea for a video. So, so um, but obviously it did work out, because I talked for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. So, <laughs> I mean... Uh, basically, basically the, uh, the ideas that you have are sort of um, sort of uh, sort of uh, like these little little nuggets that you you get from your uh, brain, which is usually uh, usually tends towards towards this sort of laziness, and um, and if you if you have the right mindset, you can take advantage of those ideas. But if you don't have the right mindset, then all the ideas in the world won't help you. You will just sort of, uh, they will just all sort of pass you by. And you'll never work on any of them. You'll never gain anything from those ideas. And uh, yeah, don't let, that happen. don't let that happen to you. I mean, why would you? You can just start working on those ideas right away and bypass all of the, those negative, uh, negative uh, thinking patterns.